Hello and welcome to Your World This Week, your weekly roundup of the top news stories of the week. Do keep watching News Mobile and let us know what you think about this video. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has a summit meeting with the US President Donald Trump on June 26th as the two countries look forward to intensify cooperation on economic, defense and strategic issues. A more vocal stand on global terrorism is expected from both leaders and a visit will help them create a personal chemistry between them. From the land to the sea to capitals across the globe, from the UN to a naval submarine, yoga was the buzzword as 50 crore people across 180 countries participated in the International Yoga Day. People took part from South Africa and Great Wall of China to Ladakh where ITBP Jawans performed yoga in the temperature of minus 25 degrees Celsius. Prime Minister Narendra Modi performed yoga joining Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath in Lucknow on the occasion. NDA nominated Ramnath Kovind, the Governor of Bihar, as their candidate for the upcoming presidential elections. Ramnath Kovind filed nomination on Friday. Meanwhile, former Lok Sabha Speaker Meera Kumar has been nominated from the opposition to challenge Ramnath Kovind for the presidency. Much-awaited Salman Khan starrer feature film Tube Light based on Sino-Indian War was released on Friday. Shah Rukh Khan will also be seen doing a cameo in the movie. Child actor in the movie Martin Ray from Arunachal Pradesh was asked an inappropriate question by a journalist about his visit to India during a press conference. The child actor gave a cracking reply to the journalist and the question has drawn criticism from all over the country. Anil Kumde resigned from the position of the head coach of Indian cricket team on Wednesday amid debate of spat between Kumde and Indian team skipper Virat Kohli. The resignation letter cleared the speculations in the air and Kumle clarified the reason behind his resignation stating his relationship with Virat Kohli as irreparable. Responding to his letter posted on Twitter, Kohli said the team respects his decision and went on saying that sanctity of dressing room should be maintained. And here's the viral video of the week. Oh my god.